Becky Baseball here. I'm with Robert J. Power and a baseball card you might have heard a little bit about in the last month or so, the uh, Steven Strasberg Superfractor, which previously sold on May 29th for $16,403. And Robert's here in Dallas as part of a kind of whirlwind month um, <laughs> um, for something. We'll get to that in a minute here. Um, now, you've, you've been on ESPN doing interviews, sure. you've, you've had all kinds of attention over this card, um, and we'll talk a little bit about it here. Uh, I'll, first, I'll give a timeline of the events. So, on May 29th, you bought the card. Uh, June 8th, Strasburg made his first start. Of course, the card was in the mail at that point, so you actually didn't have it in your hands. Correct. Uh, somewhere after that, you received the card. Um, on June 15th, uh, he made his identity known to the public um, with an interview with us. On June 16th, there was an ESPN story. On June 18th, uh, you were on ESPN's first take, talking about the card, and you didn't have it in your possession at that time. It was actually being mailed to Beckett Grading Services. That's right. Okay. <coughs> um, on June 21st, uh, you reposted the card on eBay to resell it. On June 22nd, it was graded by BGS. Uh, on June 28th, it resold on eBay for 25000 And that end result... That day, that moment, is why we're here today. Today's July 5th, and we're going to announce the identity of the buyer. And it's Brian Gray of Razor Entertainment. How you guys doing? So uh, we're here to basically talk about a little bit about the card and uh, to make the big transaction, apparently. Well, actually, we didn't do the deal on eBay. I guess the eBay bidder. Okay. That, that's one of the things recently with eBay. There have been a lot of bidders who pop up for momentary right. moments of excitement and disappear. So obviously, you know, I saw an opportunity that if that buyer didn't come through, you know, there was a card that for a product we're, we're coming out with in uh, late August, early September, there's a card I had to have. I had to make a decision. Do I go for the Strasburg 101 Red Auto or do I go for the Strasburg Super? Because one of those cards would make the cornerstone to a killer product. buyback product for us. And in my opinion, the Super is the legend card in, 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 in Chrome and in Bowman. That's the card. It's the Super traditionally. The 101 Red Auto is cool because it's autographed. But to me, the Super is the card to have. So I found this just an incredible opportunity to, even though I had to really pony up and, uh, and, and dig deep, it was the right decision, I think, to give collectors a chance to go for something that they couldn't have spent 16, 18, 20, or as you're about to find out more, to, to acquire. You know, it's going to give people a, a more inexpensive opportunity to acquire that card. And as someone who hasn't been in the hobby that long, is it surprising that a card like this, um, given, well, we haven't got to the other story yet, but... Uh, Given the the type of card, are you surprised that this was the way it was sold for a another product to actually it'll you it'll go into someone else's hands? Have you are you have you been familiar with those kinds of products? I haven't been familiar about twenty years, and I think when I was in collecting, uh, cards were mass produced, so right. it, it killed the industry in my eyes. So having a one of one, obviously a special card, and I think someone like Brian should definitely own a card like this. So. A uh, good transaction. It worked out well. Sure. No, and I'm a I'm a collector prospector. So for me not to for me to put this in the product makes me sick because it's something I want to own because I like to own the very best. But I think it's it's the cornerstone to a, to a great product. I think. Right. And the uh, basically this card is the top, most talked about card in some time in the hobby, regardless of whether it's the super. The regular version of this card is really some people would argue it's the new '89 Upper Deck Griffey in some ways. It's the card that's bringing people back to the hobby. So to have the most, you know, the most identifiable version of it, maybe not the autograph version because it's yet to sell, but to have the most talked about rare version of this card in a product really is kind of the reinforcement of that, of, of a, you know, a good approach, a good, I don't know where I'm going with there, you know, but basically it's, it's, it's the key cornerstone. It's Bowman Strasburg is the most liquid card in the last 20 years of the hobby, yeah. without a question. It's the most liquid a card has been. Everyone sells on eBay every time in a $5 range. And it's incredibly liquid, as many as you have. So, obviously, it's established itself, like you said, as the 89 number day Griffey of the 21st century. So, basically, in our previous interview, you, t you talked about one of those cards you always wanted was a Roberto Clemente rookie. Sure. So, basically, uh, now that you're moving away from this dream card from that you talked about, are you going to pick up a Clemente rookie? That's on my list. I figure with my profit, I can keep a little bit for the wife and right. spend a little bit for my uh, Clemente rookie, so it'll work out well. Okay, well, I'll leave it to you guys to uh, finalize the deal here. I'm not going to look as it happens. Or well, anything. if you don't mind me telling them how much I've Feel free, you. absolutely. $21,403.
So I, what, I guess you made 5000 on that Coincidentally, 5000 higher than my purchase price of 16403 And I'm not going to say if I would have paid more. <laughs> but I'm happy with the purchase, and I think I think a collector is going to have a real uh, uh, going to have a real good time pulling that out of a pack soon. Pulling the card, not the pulling check. the card, not the check. Yeah. <laughs> Although it's the same thing. <laughs> we just hope the card's worth more in five there years than the there check. Super. Well, we have a deal. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Thank I appreciate sir. it. I think uh, I have some collectors that are going to freak when they pull that stuff. That's a big one. So. Now, Brian, talk real quickly about what other kind of landmark cards you're trying to acquire for the set. Well, we're actually soliciting the product from our dealers and stores tomorrow, once obviously word gets out that I'm the buyer of this one. Um, the product is called uh, 2010 Razor Rookie Retro, and basically what I've been doing for the last six months is I've been doing a buyback of the most important rookie cards from the last 40 years, every major sport plus some unusual sports, and I've been buying high-grade BGS and PSA cards. And so the product is just littered with, you know, obviously the Strauss is one of the centerpieces. The Hayward Superfractor from 07 is one of the centerpieces. Uh, Weeders 101 Elite Black Status. But then there's also cards like the uh, Exquisite LeBron, Cub Crosby. I mean, these are like the corner, uh, BGS Jordan 9.5. So I mean, these are like the most important cards in the hobby. So even when you don't hit a winner, you're hitting an Evan Longoria Sterling Auto, which isn't, isn't a bad loser. Right. You know, so the product, is, it's really a high risk, high reward. An exciting rookie repack where, at the very worst, you're going to end up with a promising rookie like a Ryan Zimmerman or a Ryan Braun or some guy like that that's got some real upside still. Have you figured out your price point and, you know... We don't issue SRPs. Okay. We do have a factory cost established, and I have a feeling that within 30 minutes of us sitting at the order form, you'll see people on on the internet Trying venues and all those yeah. places pre-selling it. But I think um, I think at the price point, it, again, a lot of our repack products are high-risk, high-reward. That's how you can afford to have the mega prizes. But I think... Um, I think this is one of the best things we've ever made, just from a depth and quality rookie standpoint. I've been spending about 250000 a month on eBay between this and cuts the last several months. <laughs> so I've got a lot of eBay bucks. So, but but we've, been, we've been acquiring for this at a rapid pace, so I think it's, it's going to be our big winner. All right. Well, that's it for this uh, video. We may or may not have another video, a little more detail on the uh, Strasburg card. And uh, thanks again. We'll see you next time.